And I want to say this too, because this is just my, someone said you're out of touch with people. I don't even disagree with you. And here's what I want to say too, because I, I believe that the majority of, and I'm not trying to act like I'm so special, but the majority of the American public, they don't even care about lockdowns and all that stuff. Like I believe, I believe you're right. I believe that we got treated, this is my perception. And then I'm going to tell you why I am out of touch with the majority of Americans. My perception is we got treated like slaves, lab rats, captured war prisoners and animals by our government, mostly Democrats, but also Republicans did it too. We got treated like slaves, lab rats, and animals. And I lost more freedom and liberty from 2020 to 2022 than I've ever lost in my life. And the majority of Democrats and Republicans don't even consider that when they vote. I mean, the Republican Party barely talks about it because Trump doesn't want to talk about it because it's not a talking point he's good at talking about. So they don't even talk about it. So to me, the biggest leverage our party has is we didn't lock down as much. We gave you your freedom. We took off your mask. We didn't we didn't force vaccinate you. That should be like the driving point that should win us the election by 60 to 70 points. But Democrats apparently like that stuff and Republicans don't want to talk about it. So, yeah, I am out of touch because the majority of Americans don't even care about their own liberty or freedom or, you know, they'll be like, oh, well, you know, I can't afford anything. That's why I want to elect the guy who was there in 2020. Well, you can't afford anything because Trump and his government printed six to eight trillion dollars and then Biden printed more money. But this idea that Trump's going to fix the problem he started is insane. Like you're as batshit as a liberal. You just don't know it because you follow Charlie Kirk and Cat Turd and they keep feeding you this this stuff. And it's like, all right, so. Yeah, I guess I am out of touch when the majority of Americans got locked down like captured war prisoners and they don't even care. You know, and I, I understand that people shouldn't be treated that way. I wouldn't treat people that way. I believe that we deserve our freedom. But if you want to know my honest opinion, and I understand that this is unpopular, I don't think Americans deserve freedom and liberty. I think it's earned and not given. I don't think George Washington just sat eating pharmaceutical pills, getting fat and just said, oh, I deserve liberty and freedom. I think he worked for it. And I think Americans today, they take it for granted, left wing and right wing. So I don't think we deserve things just because we like Trump. Like that's the Republican narrative. It's like, I deserve everything because I I am I bow down to the orange idol and that's why I deserve stuff. I don't think so. If you can't even get more than 50% of this population to have it in their top three for why they're voting Republican next election or whatever, because we were treated like slaves, lab rats, cab... I mean, they locked people down, told people they can't go to school, told you you can't work out, told you you can't see your family in the hospital. They force vaccinated millions of uh, military members against uh, their will. You know, and I'm, I'm saying this is a Republican talking point. I think Republicans should be leading with this stuff. They, that should be like one of their main messages. Like, hey, guys, remember this for the next election. You barely hear anybody talking about it. I think DeSantis kind of talks about it. Besides that, none of these other Republicans, they're trying... The Republican Party, even though this should be their number one talking point, because even Trump did better than Biden on this topic, they don't want to talk about it. It's like they don't care. Voters don't care. Democrats don't care. Republicans don't care. It's crazy. So it's like, what do you do? What do you do with a population where 80 percent of the population legitimately doesn't care about the biggest scandal of the generation that just happened a year and a half ago? It's like, but we deserve freedom. Why? Why? I don't I don't get it. It's like I don't. I think this country is getting what it deserves and I think it sucks and I, I wish it wasn't that way, but it is. Even with, uh, what's his name, John Fetterman. Yeah, it, it is embarrassing that John Fetterman can't talk or dress up. You know, that's pretty embarrassing. But to me, that's not that's not like, that's not the first thing that's happened. It's like the end stage. Like, look at Nancy Pelosi. Look at Dianne Feinstein. Literally in 2020, they locked you in your house and told you that you needed a vaccine to be free and, and and people care more about John Fetterman than they, than they do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, because he looks stupid. Like, John Fetterman's there because your government's so corrupt. Consider John Fetterman a blessing in disguise of warning you how insane things are going. It's like things growing through the wall because there's mold behind it or something. It's like you don't want to see it, but it's a sign that something's wrong. Like, John Fetterman's not the... But you'll hear people talk about that, but they won't talk about what happened a year and a half ago. So if that makes me out of touch... I agree. I agree that I'm not average at this point where I'm not acting like I'm so much better, but I, I don't, I truly don't understand. Like I'll vote Republican, even if Trump wins and runs on how great his vaccine is probably off of a few things. 
federal judges, because I think that's probably one of the only things that Trump actually did that stuck. Federal judges, Supreme Court judges, that's probably like one of the only things that matters. Slightly better border security with the chance that he might actually do something this time and, you know, make it right. And then also the 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 mandate stuff, you know, that is a huge part. I, I never said that Trump fully mandated everything. I just said that he walked into the trap. He gave them all the money, he gave them all the power. He did socialism for big pharma, Operation Warp Speed. And then he acts shocked by the results. After you set this president, you're going to get bamboozled. But still, I'll still vote for these losers because I know the Republican Party on average opened the country faster. They mandated less. They did less mask mandates. And to me, that's like a slavery scheme. You know what I'm saying? I like when I couldn't walk into a store because I didn't have an mRNA shot or they're screaming at me because I don't have a cloth diaper on my face for five seconds before I walk into a Dairy Queen. Like that's the type of crap that was the craziest shit that's ever happened in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like I was very I had very few complaints before that. Uh, you know, I'm like, whatever, life's crazy, but it is what it is. But now I can't go here. Now I can't travel. Now I can't leave the country. Now I can't go on a cruise. Now I can't see my family. That was the craziest shit that's ever happened in my life. And it's not even a top three things that people are voting for in the next election. Democrats don't care about it. And Republicans are more concerned with idol worship around the vaccine salesman abortion guy than they are like that. Does, that topic doesn't even matter to people. I bring that topic up and people are like, that doesn't matter. It, it's over. What? And yeah, I'm out of touch for sure. I'm definitely out of touch with a group of people that doesn't even care what happened to them. And that kind of makes me beg the question of like, why wouldn't that happen again under another guise? If Republicans concede that much freedom and say we had to because of an emergency or whatever they say, or he had to, Trump had to cave and this had to happen. Why wouldn't it happen again? It should happen again. Like I, if I walk into a restaurant and 99% of the people in that restaurant are wearing cloth diaper masks on their face to walk five steps. And I'm the only man there that says, hey, guys, this doesn't I'm literally like at, at certain points, I would yell to the whole restaurant as like a Truman Show experiment to see if I'm really here. Or this is just like a hallucination. I'm like, guys, why are you listening to this stuff? If 30% of us actually said it doesn't make sense as a man, as an American citizen, it doesn't make sense to wear a cloth diaper on my face for 10 seconds to sit down at a table. And if, if, if people snapped out of it in 2020 or 2021, it could have been over two years prior. But I'm sitting there and I'm saying, is anybody alive in here? And they're all telling me, I agree with you, but I just follow the rules. I just follow the rules. Then you deserve to be enslaved if you follow the rules and walk into a freaking you know, cell and complain that you're there. I don't understand why. Because you voted for Trump. You think you deserve freedom just because you voted for a guy who sold vaccines. Like, I don't I don't look at it the same way. People are like, I deserve all these things because I vote this way. But your party doesn't eat, like did a half ass job to preserve this stuff. And the reason they keep getting away with it is because most people don't care. You know, so yeah, I'm out. I absolutely am out of touch with Trump supporters. I absolutely I am out of touch with Republicans. Ideologically, they agree with me on 99%, but they're trapped in this like circus narrative around characters and politicians and this and that and left and right and red and blue to the point where they can't see straight. Yes, all vote Republican, you know, because May, I mean, one of my main reasons is the, the medical tyranny. I know that they're better at it, even though they suck. And that's part of the illusion is like both parties are going towards hell. And the further the Democrats go, the more reasonable the right seems, even though they're liberals from eight years ago. You know what I'm saying? You go back 15 years, the, the Democratic Party is further right than the conservatives on social issues. But now we just keep moving in the same direction. And, and if you want to stand still and say, no, you're too much. And that and that's how they win over time. But long story short, I feel like uh, I, I, I don't disagree with you. I mean, if people go and vote 60 percent for the guy that was there in 2020, we do. We are. I am out of touch. You know, I'm not pretending like I'm not. It would make more sense for me to try to fit like and, and the more I listen and the more I read stuff, it's like it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me um you know it doesn't make sense someone said trump exposed the who he proved they had vaccines made for a new disease before it even hit china trump signed executive orders in 2019 like you're i'm not trying to be mean but your little fake fantasy trump world you're living in it's all fake 
Like they point to China as if they weren't funding that same lab. Oh, China did it. China did it. China did it in the Wuhan lab. Who was working with the Wuhan lab? If you believe that, America's hands are all in that. But they can't admit that. So they just blame to China and China blames them. It's both of them probably. But also, just like you're blaming China, Trump passed vaccine executive orders that are eerily similar to the ones used in 2020 in 2019. You want to talk about China pre-planning certain stuff? Just look at America too, but you can't. It's like people are like, oh, it's the China flu. Trump's innocent. He exposed them. He's doing the same crap, but they're going to get away with it every time. And thank you, uh, Jay Case. I appreciate you. Someone said, took a much seat of surf trip. Hope you're well, bro. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate it. Long story short, it's like I... I don't, I guess I should just sit here and be like, you deserve freedom and liberty and, you know, MAGA. Yeah, if you vote for the orange vaccine salesman, you you deserve everything. If you just keep giving your money, it's like, I could say that, but I don't believe it. I don't believe this party deserves anything. Like the the failure is coming and it's well-deserved. And and people might never snap out of it. It's like San Francisco. It's like saying San Francisco is going to be a a utopia. It's not. San Francisco is not going to be a utopia. Everyone's getting robbed. It's going to keep happening. It's not going to stop. And they need to wake the hell up because their ideology of how to police and run a city doesn't work. Liberals are not getting a good city. So I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, if San Francisco is going to be amazing in a year, just it's not. And Republicans aren't getting anything because their worldview at this point, they're too idolized around a certain man that they're not thinking straight in any form of the word. Like you, you want to look at that stuff, but you can't even look at your own country and your own party. This idea that only China was doing stuff in 2019. So was your vaccine daddy. Go, go look at the executive orders. Um, 999. Someone said, I was completely surprised at my job. How many Trump supporters wore a mask and followed everything. Democrats pushed all because they didn't want to lose their jobs. I live in a majority conservative place and people were following the stupid orders for two years in a, in a majority conservative place. You know what I'm saying? I had friends standing next to me that are Trump supporters and conservatives, and they were trying to shame me into wearing the mask. You know, this is what I'm saying. It's like, oh, just wear it for five steps to sit down. Yeah. But to me, it's bigger than just doing. Yeah. Could I do that? Of course I could do anything. I could put on a monkey mask and dance and say, jingle, jingle, jangle. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things I can do, but as a man, it's like, I'm not a slave. I'm not a prisoner. I'm not doing an illogical, insane thing just to please the government overlords. Like that's nuts. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you want me as a conservative to wear a mask to sit down? At that point, I think Republicans deserve the slippery slope. If you can't even stand up for yourself in crunch time when they're taking away all of your stuff, when they're imploding your economy, when they're treating us like animals and lab rats and 90% of people know it's unscientific, but they're still following anyway. This is what I'm trying to basically say is like so many people Some people like Trump because he's the best option or they think he's the best option. Some people like Trump because, you know, he did a good job for a couple of years. Some people like him because he's funny. But this is my analysis. A lot of people like Trump because they don't want to be that man. So they just want to live vicariously through this Marvel character they have imprinted in their head because it makes them feel strong the same way you watch football and cheer for the guy catching the touchdown. And I'm fine. I, I like sports as well. I'm just saying in general, like it doesn't matter if you vote for Trump, if you can't even take off your mask for five seconds to sit down and eat food. If you're willing to comply to that, your vote is useless. Like why? Because you vote for the orange man instead of the blue man. You, you deserve a special good boy prize, but you can't even you can't even like resist tyranny in your own neighborhood. I don't like I don't see it that way. And that's what I saw in 2021 and 2022. The amount of people that were complying to little stupid crap when when there was nothing on the table, like, you know, like, I've explained this before, but it's not like I was going to starve to death. I'm that type of person where it's like if I if they told me you got to starve to death or do this or lie the rest of your life, I would choose the path of honor because I'm not going to live a liar. I'm not going to live a life of lies. I know a lot of people that they know that I'm the real deal. And it's like, they wish they could be like me and just tell the truth, but they're fake and they, they, they want to make the money or whatever. I, I can't do that. Right. Or whatever happens, it happens, but I can't be fake. But long story short, we didn't even have to do that in 2021. Like I would starve if I had to, to make a point, 
but we weren't going to starve. There were 15 other restaurants we could go to. We could order it. We could make food ourselves and get groceries. Like we didn't have to comply to that restaurant's tyranny. And, and there were 15 other restaurants around us, including a few that didn't enforce masks. And it's like, people can't even stand up for themselves when nothing's on the line. You get what I'm saying? They were like, put on a mask brother and sit down for five seconds and we could eat here. I don't want to support this restaurant if they're that tyrannical. I want to use my purchasing power to support restaurants like Basilico's and others that don't cave. I don't want to give my money to some psychopath who's telling me I have to wear a mask outside to walk to an outdoor table for five seconds. What point don't you want to get? And if you dummies actually stood up with me instead of shaming me, you know, then it wouldn't be a rule. If 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 30% of the neighborhood wasn't a bunch of cucks, it wouldn't even be a rule for two years. It would have ended. I remember California. I live in an orange. Uh, I'm sorry. I live in a red area. California's Gavin Newsom tried to bring it back in like 2021 or 2022. It was like two years later, right? And I'm in a freaking Gelson's or a stupid grocery store. And they brought back the masks after like a year of not having masks. And everyone's wearing it. And I'm in line. And the lady comes up to me. She says, excuse me, sir, um, you have to put on a mask. And I was like, no, I'm good. I'm not a slave. And she's like, no, you, you have to. I was like, I'm not putting one on. She's like, you, you can't eat your, you can't get your food. And I was like, I, I'm, I'm taking this food, ma'am. I'm going to pay for it too. And she's like, no, you can't take it. And I, I'm like, listen, lady, I'm not moving. Go get your manager. This is ridiculous. We've taken our masks off for a year. The governor says to put it back on for two weeks and everyone in here is complying like a bunch of animals. Go find your manager, your manager's manager, lady, because I'm not moving from this space. The guy comes out to me and he goes, hey, you know, sir, can you please go outside? I agree with you. And I, and I'm, I'm, I say, I'm buying these groceries, bro. I'm not going to starve and, 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 and live in a house with no food because you guys are freaking a bunch of pathetic animals. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, you can go outside. You can take them for free. So because I was a real man, I, I, I sat there and he was going to give me all the groceries for free. I said, I don't want them for free. I want to pay for them. Here's $100. You can keep the change. You can steal $50 from me. I'm not taking these for free. Here's the money. I stood outside. He hands them to me. And outside, people are coming up to me and they're going, you know, I agree with you. I agree with you. Well, then what are you doing in there? Because if 10% of the store agrees with me, they can't do it. If 30% of the store agrees, with me, it's all compliance. It was all a game. And what did everybody get for it when it was all said and done? What did you get for your vaccine? Did you get freedom? Any special things? Yeah, for two weeks, for two months. And then what? And then, you know, I saw a story recently where it's a story recently, DC Drano was saying that a veteran came up to him at a gym and said that he had to get the Moderna shot because he was in the military. He got the shot, got myocarditis. They kicked him out of the military because now he's not fit to serve. And they're trying to not even help him with his medical stuff. I mean, this is real shit that happened to millions of people. What did you get for two years of the mass? Is there anything you got? Did anybody get anything? Did they have any rhyme or reason for the amount of time? How come we could take our masks off in that state if I drive three hours, but right here I can't, but I go to a different county and I can. It never made any sense. It was always like a slave test to see how, how, how big a slaves people are. Who's Who acts like dogs when they're forced with tyranny? Who's ready for communism? Who's ready for the gulags? Not me. And it's like, I'm the only one. I live in a county that probably voted for Trump 60 to 70% but you can't even find three men in a grocery store of a hundred people to stand next to me. Who the, who the hell cares who you vote for? Wow. You voted for Trump. What do you want a sticker? Like you're a, a, a kid. You know what I'm saying? At a little playground event. What do you want a, a hat to come with it? You want to vote for DeSantis? Cool. You want to vote for Vivek? I don't care if you're not even man enough to, to, to make a stand when, when communism's ushering in, you don't deserve shit and no offense, but that's the Republican party. Now they think cause they wear little Trump badges and Trump hats that they're all so special, whatever. And it's like, you got grown men that are jacked carrying guns in their social media telling me, Oh, you don't understand anomaly. It's like, What's the point of being so tough and so strong if you can't even stand up for yourself? Like you're you're you make more you make excuses for failure and tyranny more than you stand up for it against it. And that's why it keeps happening. It's like a simple equation in my head. If enough people say no, it's over. If enough Republican voters make it a point to say that Trump or DeSantis can't do that, it's over. But if 95% of our base makes excuses for failure, we deserve failure. We deserve failure with a MAGA hat or a DeSantis pin or a Romney. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's the equation I see in my head. And it's like, you got all these tough guys getting all pissed off at me. Cool. 
whatever, agree to disagree, but you spend more time making excuses for failure and tyranny and socialism and communism when it comes in your flavor and your color than you do standing up against it. And that's why we get it fundamentally. Yes, the left is insane. Yes, they don't know what they're doing, but we got to figure this stuff out too. And that's kind of how I see right now. It's like, I don't care who you vote for. I don't care who you like, but that's the point of this conversation is like, if you ask real questions, if you take a real principled stand, you're not welcome in MAGA world. You have to either lie or just pretend like you agree with everything. And I don't see it going anywhere.